In this video, we're going to look at just uh, a quick follow-up to what we last learned. So we've been looking at second order, linear, constant coefficient, non-homogeneous differential equations. Things of the form as you see here. And our approach is to use linearity. Uh, the general solution will be the sum of, well, over here, the general solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, basically this with a zero on the right. And we talked about how to get that. And then we're going to add to that a particular solution to the non-homogeneous one. We just have to find one particular solution regardless of initial conditions. And we put that here. And the method we've been using for that has been the method of undetermined coefficients, which means we make an educated guess as to what form that should be based on the form of the f of t, the forcing term over on the right. Uh, and the only thing that we don't guess is the specific coefficients in front of the term or terms. Uh, but then we plug it in and we figure it out. Okay, so that's what we've been doing. And we've looked at polynomial forcing terms, and we've looked at exponential forcing terms. Uh, and sine and cosine were briefly mentioned, but we didn't do any examples, and, and that's coming up in a, in, in a subsequent video. But before we move on to that, um, one point, and it's an important point that we need to make. Sometimes uh, a problem arises, and so I want to show that to you. So I'm going to have us work on this example, and we'll see the problem as it arises. Okay, so let's do the homogeneous first. We go right into the characteristic e equation, which is lambda squared plus 2y minus 8 equals 0. This does factor uh, lambda plus 4 and lambda minus 2 equals 0. And so we get lambda is negative 4 and 2. And so our homogeneous solution would be a e to the negative 4t plus b e to the 2t. All right. So e to the negative 4t solves the homogeneous. e to the 2t solves the homogeneous. And any multiples and any combinations of the two would solve the homogeneous. So that's the general solution to the homogeneous. Great. Now, we move on to the non-homogeneous particular solution. And based on what we've been doing up to this point, we would guess, we would look at this term, and we would guess the solution of the form uh, a, an undetermined coefficient times e to the 2t. Right? That should be, that would normally be the form that would work here. Now, because this is the first time doing it, uh, let's play this out and you'll see that something goes wrong. Um, but ultimately, we'd like to spot, we'll, we'll see, after we see what goes wrong, we'll see why we should have known that something was going to go wrong before we even tried it. Okay, But I do, this first time, want to show you what would happen if we went forward with this guess. Because everything we've done so far, this would be the correct guess. Well, okay, so first derivative 2d e to the 2t, second derivative 4d e to the 2t. Plug it in, we get 4d e to the 2t, the second derivative, plus 2 times the first derivative, so plus 4d e to the 2t, minus 8 times the guess itself, minus 8d e to the 2t, and this is supposed to equal 3e to the 2t. And here's what happens, right? So 4 plus 4 minus 8, we actually get 0dE to the 2t. So sort of just through bad luck, everything on the left cancels away completely. And so we no longer have the freedom, right? d is no longer there, so we, it's not like we can choose d to match with the 3 over here. Okay, so here's the problem. That That is the problem that this happened. This is sort of a, a brick wall. We cannot get a D to make our guess work. Okay, 
So if you ever have this happen to you, then you know that you're in this special case. Now let's talk about why we should have known now that we'll, we'll learn to recognize this, we should have known that this was not going to work. And the reason is, e to the 2t, which we based on that, was already part of our homogeneous solution. It was already part of our homogeneous solution. And we know that e to the 2t will make the left-hand side equal 0, because that's what it means to be a solution to the homogeneous equation, the corresponding homogeneous equation. So this was the issue. The f of t was a homogeneous solution. And so a guess of the same form will just always fail. All right, so how do we get around this? There is a workaround. And the workaround is we're going to change our guess to the t e to the 2t. Okay, so this was similar to the uh, the issue we ran into with uh, in the homogeneous case when uh, you know if we got two real solutions, okay, we have our two exponential solutions. If lambda came out to be two complex numbers, then okay, we had our uh, sine and our cosine. Um, but when we only got one real solution, right? That was we needed a second a second e a second exponential, and we just put a t in front of it. So uh, sort of in the in the same spirit, that's what we do here. Uh, e to the 2t itself isn't going to work, so we try t e to the 2t. And uh, this will always work. This will work in the case where the forcing term is a homogeneous solution to your differential equation. So we're going to plug this in. Now it's a, a little bit more work. We have to do a product rule, of course. So um, there would be the first derivative after the product rule and second derivative would be that would be the second derivative so you, you can check that for yourself uh, just chain rule a couple of times uh, excuse me product rule a couple of times okay so now we plug it in and we'll have 4d t e to the 2t for the second derivative uh, plus 4d e to the 2t that's the whole second derivative. Then plus 2 times the first derivative, so 2 times this, 4d t e to the 2t, and 2d e to the 2t, minus 8 times the guess itself. And this is supposed to equal 3 e to the 2t. Okay. And you'll notice that the t e to the 2t terms, there are three of them, we got 4 plus 4 minus 8. So they exactly cancel. And the plane e to the 2t parts do not cancel this time. So we have 6d e to the 2t equals 3 e to the 2t. So 6d has to equal 3. And so d would be 1 half. So it worked. This Guessing this solution will work if d equals 1 half. All right, so our particular solution is 1 half t e to the 2t. And if we put everything together, we take that one and we add our homogeneous that we figured out previously, and there it is. And that's how we do it. So this is a special case, and like I said, again, it only is what you do you do this kind of guess if that forcing term, that f of t on the right, is sort of coincidentally also a homogeneous solution. And then you, you have to do this to get things to work. Okay.